what's up everybody <laughs> today i'm back with another episode of let's spoil it um so today i'll be doing not a spoiler but a review of this movie called i hate the man in my basement and so i'm mainly doing a review and not a spoiler because i i feel like it's kind of an independent film um so it didn't really go to theaters you know it's not backed by like a major um production company so i feel like you know maybe the money that they're getting is what you know the money that they're getting they're not getting millions of dollars off of this um you know because you know it's not like wb's like or 20th century fox is out there like backing this so they put their heart on work into it so i'm not gonna spoil it spoil it um i probably will spoil it a little bit but more of a review than a spoiler um so this movie is called i hate the man in my basement and honestly i wouldn't have heard about it but i follow manny montana which is one of the actors, follow Manny Montana on um, Instagram. And so he put it in his story. And I was like, what is this? Because I love Manny Montana. And I make it my business to watch everything he's in. Side note, I didn't realize his last name wasn't Montana until I realized he was like a radio. He had done like radio. And I was like, ah, oh, man, that was probably his, um, that was probably his like on air name. So um, who knows what the last name is? Also, who knows if his first name is even Manny? Maybe it's like Manuel. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. You know, you just want to know all the information. I don't know the information. I know he goes by Manny Montana, and that's all we really know about this guy. Um, and the fact that he's in Good Girls. So, I love him from that. He was in Graceland. Love him in that. Um, and I think he's done, like, other smaller things. I did not make it my business to watch those. But moving on, got sidetracked. The movie is called I Hate the Man in My Basement. Um, so Manny Montana is Logan. Chris Marquette is Claude. And Nora Jane Noon is Kira. Um, so Manny Montana, and you can get this from the trailer, is the man in the basement. Chris Marquette is the man that has him in the basement. And Kira is Kira. So the synopsis says, after his wife's death, Claude struggles to appear normal. While living with a secret like i said you can get this from the trailer so this isn't a spoiler um but manny montana is trapped in claude's basement or logan is trapped in claude's basement chain around his neck um sitting on this little dirty mattress on the floor beat up and bruised and um claude has like a little electrocution device hooked up to it sometimes he goes down there brings a little tv dinner and shocks him you know just for kicks and we really don't know um, initially why um, Logan's down there. He tries to tell Chris what happened. He's like, look, man, you just just let me explain. Just let me explain. And you're like, explain what? And he doesn't get to explain because Chris electrocutes him again. Um, now, this all comes to a close at the end of the movie. I, Like I said, I'm not going to tell that part just because I feel like it's an independent film. I don't know. I still want y'all to pay to see it. You can just rent it. It's for $3.99 if you want the SD, $4.99 if you want the HD on streaming platforms. I'm not going to give them any shout outs because no one is sponsoring me at this point in time. Although, uh, you know, I'll be a partner if y'all let me. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, Logan's trapped in the basement. Claude is this man that's keeping him in the basement and he's just kind of like going to work you know, hanging out with his friends, hooking up with that girl, Kira, living life, like, everything's okay. Like, he doesn't have a man trapped in his basement, which was just very, very disconcerting to me. It made me feel really weird, because I know there is some person out there that's actually doing that, just like, oh, yeah, for do, for do, everything's okay. Also, I'm torturing somebody in my basement. Sometimes I give them food, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I punch him in the face and I electrocute him. Sometimes I don't. He asked for a TV, gave him a book. He liked the book. Hmm. We we sometimes have conversations. He even helps me talk to, helps me try to figure out, you know, how to talk to this woman, which is weird when you watch the movie because it's like, well, why would you ask him? It was a weird situation, y'all. I was confused, and I think the movie's like an hour and a half, hour and forty-five. Um, but you ever watch a movie and you're like, oh, it's only an hour and 45 minutes. This will go by fast. And if the first 15 minutes feels like you've been sitting there for 30, 
that's what that felt like to me. Um, not not on Manny Montana's fault. Hard he can do no wrong. You know, I'll never put any of that on him. <laughs> I actually think it was just the script. I felt like a lot of the dialogue and just others. I felt like all of the other stuff was unnecessary. Besides Claude and Manny, like if it had just been an hour and forty five of him being in the basement and them just talking him giving him food and then you know him you know shocking him or punching him and then Claude going to work we see him at the cubic cool come back home doing the same thing talking to him giving him food giving him a book talking about the book like if it had been that I feel like that would have been better than him like oh yeah I've got this man in the basement punch him in the face let me go hang out with my friends and have weird conversations with my friend the Riley's and we're, oh yeah, also we're going to go salsa dancing. Yeah, I'm going on a date, even though my wife has died. Crazy. Let me go home and talk to the man in my basement about it. Uh, it was, uh, yo, you know what? Realize I don't like the girl I went on a date with. I do like the salsa instructor. Let's do that. It was, it was hard. And then when they went on a date, the dialogue was hard. It was just hard for me to watch and hard for me to listen to um, which I'm sure is some some of y'all are probably listening to this like this is hard for me to listen to and I get it you know <laughs> can't please everybody it didn't please me like I said it wasn't on the part of Manny Montana he was great as a tortured soul in a basement with a heavy chain around his neck that you used to strap pit bulls with you know he was great he was great yeah he was great now like I said, script was just, it wasn't that great for me. So I feel like maybe the actors could have done a better job. But, you know, they really didn't have, they, they couldn't. They were they were contained and restricted by the script. But I do feel as though the last 30 minutes or so is when the acting really picked up. There, were, I feel like it, there were less words and more just like facial expressions and, you know, movements and, you know, deep thinking. And that was the best acting I saw. Um, out of the people that were doing the majority of the talking. Like I said, not Manny Montana, he's great. But the last 30 minutes was the best acting I saw out of um, the two other main characters. And they actually kind of made it worthwhile um, to watch this movie. So, um, you know, let's just kind of go over it. I don't know. I don't know. How, I've never done a review before, guys. Let's see me. But anyway, so like I said, Manny Montana is great. The two other actors, their dialogue sucked, but that's not their fault. They didn't write the script, hopefully. Because if they did, then, you know, they would just have to go back and practice writing more scripts. And it's okay. Just take this as constructive criticism. Um, I feel like there was a point to it that they were trying to make with this movie. Like, uh, like what do you do when you're pushed too far? What do you do when you're mourning? Or, I don't know. It, the, the message got lost somewhere and I mean if someone can help me find it great tell me tell me about it when you watch it um like I said I'm not going to tell you to not see it because I like Manny Montana I'm always trying to support the things that he says so please spend the $3.99 and you know if you're a big baller in this time to coronavirus in this time of the quarantine go ahead and spend that $4.99 I was not a baller um, I've been off of work all week, so there was no money. <laughs> there was no extra dollar that I was going to spend. But if I had had it, I would have thrown it at him. You know, given that four ninety nine, or I guess I don't know what the takeaway would have been. So maybe a dollar twenty five. <laughs> Split a dollar twenty five between the three of the main people. You know, give a little seventy five cents to another person. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just not messed up my math. I know that much. Um, so I guess out of five stars, I would give it, a, oh, give it a two, two and a half. I don't want to give it something that low because like I said, I love Manny Montana. I don't want this to be a smudge on his name, but it just, it's almost like, would I watch it again? No, I would not watch it again. Do I feel like it deserved three stars? I don't. I don't, even though the acting in the last 30 minutes was great, I feel like that's probably what gave it the half a star for me. Um, but I do, I do feel like it's something that 
it, like if I watch it again, I wouldn't be upset. I'd be like, oh, I hate the man in my basement. It's on. Like if it was on TV, I'd be like, oh, I'll watch it. I know how it ends. I think I, you know, I, I enjoyed it enough. You know, if I was doing my hair, because which is how, how I watched it this time. I was doing my hair, and I was like, okay, I'll watch. I hate the man in my basement. Um, so yeah, definitely watch it. Check it out, you guys. I don't think you'll be any more disappointed or not disappointed as I was. You might just go into it like, hmm. This was the movie that um, Name Redacted was talking about. And then, yeah, you'll feel the exact same way as me. Um, so hopefully, I don't know who wrote the script, but hopefully, you know, they do another movie and they write it a little bit better. That way I can enjoy that one more than this one. And then hopefully they cast Manny Montana again. Um, also, Manny Montana, shout out to you. You showed that you're good at, um, you know, trying to torture. But I didn't like I feel like you were crying at one point in time. <laughs> I didn't like that while you were eating the burger. Also, that burger looked dry. So let me know, was it? Was that a dry burger that they had you eat? And was it cold? Or did they heat it up for you? I don't know. It's random. Just let me know. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. It looked Because the burger looked gross. Was the fortune cookie good? What did the fortune say that you threw? Because you just threw it. I don't know. I don't know. All right. This has been another episode of Let's Spoil It, you guys. Thank you for listening to my short review. Peace.